U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue visited the Purdue campus today. He met with students and faculty and took part in a public discussion with University President Mitch Daniels. Star City's Chris Marisivica has more on Purdue's talking points. Sonny Purdue says trade, labor, and regulation in that order are the top three issues on the minds of crop and livestock producers across the country. He says, understandably, farmers are on edge as the tariff war with China continues and exports and income decline. I think there's a legitimate anxiety out there when you're talking about your livelihood. Purdue says the U.S.-China trade relationship is complicated and enforceability of any agreement is vital. Part of the problem is that China has indicated before in the past Past, they were willing to do some things and didn't live up to that. He says it's a good sign that China's Vice Premier Li Yu has returned to the U.S. to continue talks. President Donald Trump's threat this week to shut down the U.S. border with Mexico adds to the agricultural producers' anxieties. It's uh, not helpful. Uh, it can be uh, certainly harmful uh, from a trade perspective if, that, uh, if trade is included in that shutdown. Purdue advocates for genetically modified crops and livestock and wants the Food and Drug Administration to expedite the approval process for those products. We don't think these companies that are innovating in that should have to go to Argentina, Brazil or Canada that want to welcome them in order to do that. To secure the future of farming in America, he says sustained profitability is vital to attracting young people to the industry. While the data support Purdue's concern about the future of farming in America, I didn't have to go far here at this hammer down on hunger event at Ross Aid Stadium to find a Purdue student who is committed to staying in the farming industry. Purdue senior Kenzie Schwederman is a senior studying agronomy with a concentration in business and marketing. She says she can't wait to put her knowledge to work and join her parents and two brothers on the family farm east of Muncie. I think the hard work ethic and the main like business strength that we have and what we've built over the years. My dad came from a 400 acre farm and he's expanded it into a 4,000 acre grain farm and it's the, deter the hard work and determination to push us through the hard times. Schwederman says she also took classes about precision agriculture and plans to stay on top of advances in digital technology that constantly impact the science of farming. Chris Mauricio Vitsa, Star City News.